The Ultra Series provides a high specification. So as you can see on the table here, we have a range of different cameras in the Ultra Series. RJ45 connection, you can position as you want until that's fully tightened. <laughs> I'm Dan King and I'm one of the project pre-sales engineer at Hike. Today we're going to look at the new Ultra Series network cameras, which is our product orientated product line. So what are Ultra Series cameras? Ultra Series cameras easily meet the requirements of projects with high performance, excellent stability and network security. They also include excellent adaptability to light conditions with our powered by Dark Fighter or Color View technology. There's false alarm reduction through human and vehicle target classification based on our AccuSense technology, excellent system stability through dual file system backup, and options for NEMA 4X certification for harsh environments to add the feature sets for a project oriented solution. As you'd expect, the systems are loaded with advanced security features, including SFTP and SD card encryption to aid increasing your system's cyber dependence capabilities. And for integration with systems, supports metadata, ISAPI, SDK, and e-home protocols. This product line is designed with projects in mind. Compared with the Pro Series, the Ultra Series provides a higher specification and have unique features that are often project-centric, which means the range is more likely to meet specific project tender requirements than the Pro Series. So what is the deal with the Ultra Series then, and what are its most noteworthy features? Let's run through them. First of all, there are two main technologies deployed in the Ultra Series, the AccuSense and the ColorView. AccuSense is an intelligent video analysis technology based on our deep learning algorithms, which detects the targets and classifies them into human, vehicles and others. This helps to produce reliable alarms for users. ColorView technology delivers a colorful view and is the most powerful low light technology in the industry. It enables cameras to provide details and render 24 seven colorful imaging in dim lighting environments. All of our Ultra Series support AccuSense technology. Additionally, some models support AccuSense and ColorView together. You can find out this information easily from our data sheets. Some models support what we call LiveGuard, which means the cameras have a built-in warning light and speaker to warn off intruders in real time. This takes the camera to the next level of delivering a proactive security solution. Also, on certain models, there's some extended corrosion protection. These products are worth checking out because they use extended corrosion coating or painting to, to provide an all-round protection for the, the equipment casing. They meet a NEMA 4X certification and can be installed in areas that include harsh environments like acid rain, higher than average humidity, or close to coastal areas. What's more, Ultra Series have a high network security standard. These cameras support SFTP, SRTP, SD card encryption, and can meet most of the security requirements of projects. And one of the key for benefits of this new line is that we offer a five-year warranty which can guarantee your products for a long-term performance. There are plenty of additional features within the series that we can't cover today. However, please visit our website to find out more about this. So as you can see on the table here, we have a range of different cameras in the Ultra series, uh, from ranging from the color view systems with the standard bullets in fixed or very focal. We have some panoramic uh, style cameras, again, uh, with different lens structures and uh, what you do more traditional turrets and domes. Uh, in the AccuSense only, we have a similar lineup with your domes and your turrets and bullets. Uh, again, mixtures of very focals and, and fixed lenses. The cameras themselves come in four, five or eight megapixel variants, depending on the technology you're using. Check out the data sheets for more information on that. Uh, and for today's unboxing, we're actually gonna look at this color view technology uh, box. It's got the um, live guard technology built in it as well. So we'll have a look at that now. Okay, so what we've done here is we've uh, removed everything from the box itself. Um, it's worth noting that I've actually taken off the plastic bag for the camera and in the, ca the camera itself is a bag. It comes with the silica gel. Uh, so if there was any moisture issues in transit or anything like that, I should uh, be able to deal with that adequately. Uh, so the camera itself is protected. And what I've done is taken up all the, uh, all the bits and pieces and we'll just quickly go through those. So the first side of things you get, you'll get the quick start guide there. So that'll give you a quick run through of how to get the camera up and running uh, along the network. 
Um, we then also have the drill template, so for physically fitting that side, it's actually a sticker, so you can stick that to the wall and uh, drill through the, uh, the sticker template to, to give you a, a correct alignment and mounting of the camera itself. And next along is the fixture fitting, so that side of things that gives you enough screws and more plugs to, to install the camera correctly. Uh, and then we have in the blink bag here, we have uh, the Torx key, that's for configuration uh, of, the, of these screws on the system. Uh, and then for the important side of things as well on, on this Torx bag as well, is up here you have a QR code, that's Hype Connect. Uh, it is elsewhere in the box and cameras, but it's always good to know that it's there. So you just scan that and it, uh, with your uh, QR code reader on your phone, and it'll take you away to be able to download the Hype Connect app. Uh, and then lastly, we have in the box, the uh, RJ45 gland uh, protector. So this is actually enables you to uh, connect the, um, that to the, the RJ45 connection on the camera and give you correct waterproofing uh, of that particular connection there. So we'll move on to the camera itself. And first of all, we'll look at the physical connections on the back of the camera. So as mentioned, standards, it is a network camera. So you've got your standard RJ45 connection. Uh, if you, if you, when you're using that, please use this side of things to make sure it's waterproof. Uh, even if it's instantly installed internally, you always put that on. It just gives that extra level of protection on there. It is a POE camera. However, you do have the option for 12 volt DC power connection on there if for any reason you're not using POE uh, or you want to, to want to power it separately. Next up, we have your audio connections. So that's your audio in and outputs uh, on there for, for line in, line out on, on the standard screw terminal style. Uh, and then the same uh, side of terminals, uh, you also have your alarm inputs and outputs. They are marked on the plug itself. Um, unfortunately, you can't quite see it because it's white on white, but um, in real life, you can see all the correct uh, indication for marking uh, for the, the correct terminal locations. And then on this particular model of camera is a nice feature. Uh, this is actually, this particular connector here is a 12 volt DC output. Um, so this allows you to power additional uh, periphery equipment uh, locally to the camera as well, as long as it's on a low volt, 12 volt rail. Um, so very handy, but please make sure that you check the model of the camera, because that's not a standard feature set on all of the cameras. Uh, but check the model if, if that is something that's of interest, that you're getting the correct model on the camera itself uh, on there. Then we look at the camera, the actual physical camera itself. Uh, we have the slip ring side of things. So this is where you uh, mount the camera, so you mount the, mount the base, connect that body to the camera, and put this on secure it. There is a screw connection there that allows you to tighten that size up. It is a standard, is a traditional turret, so you can position as you want until that's fully tightened. On the lens itself, uh, we have, as is a color view camera, we've got the emitters, so the white light emitters on there, and of course the lens structure in the front there. Um, and then finally, on the camera itself, you've got here, this is, uh, you've got two screw terminals, you take those off and that, that exposes the actual connections to the, to the camera uh, set up and, and local modules and stuff on the camera itself. Um, and that, in a nutshell, will be the system and the camera unboxed. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. Don't forget to visit our website as shown below at heightvision.com forward stroke UK. However, if you want some more information, including those demo videos, search for Hike Vision UK Technical Support on YouTube, and you'll find an ever-expanding library of short guides to choose from. Bye for now.